It's wonderful that we've had the opportunity here at the Reformed Baptist Church of Riverside in Southern California uh, to host this General Assembly. Uh, our folks have had the great opportunity to uh, meet missionaries that they've prayed for, uh, to meet pastors in other sister churches that they're familiar with through prayer letters uh, and the regular updates that come from the office at Reformed Baptist Network. Uh, and there's a real sense in which our folks have really benefited from this. Uh, so we're, we're really happy to be able to host this. The General Assembly exists for a number of reasons. One reason is certainly so that we can get together and do some of the business of our network, uh, primarily thinking about sending missionaries overseas. But it also just exists for the, the fellowship, the camaraderie, the love, the brotherhood we have as we get to see one another and then be encouraged by God's word as we gather together, it's always a good time. You get to sit at the table, meet people, learn about them. You learn about their church, you learn about their struggles, the things they need prayer about. You're able to learn from one another, receive encouragement from one another, counsel, interact with one another. It's a great blessing. Without the GA, it wouldn't be the same because this is where we actually see each other face to face and have those opportunities to have conversations and to build relationships with one another. Those things are very uh, valuable and precious to me. And so I'm willing to fly from Kenya, from Nairobi, to get here uh, to Riverside. Uh, that's a small cost to pay when I consider those uh, blessings and gifts that I receive as I fellowship with these brothers that I dearly love. To uh, see Reformed Baptist churches you know, striving to love one another and to be united to one another and making the effort to cultivate closer relationships with one another, to see that happening is a great encouragement. I must admit that I've come longing for fellowship and I found it here. Uh, just looking around the room, I've seen quite a number of individuals who I've come to know and who've begun over time to do ministry together. And it's kind of one of those big family reunions that we get to experience here, especially considering that a lot of our Reformed Baptist churches tend to be smaller churches. So being able to fellowship with more men, I think uh, allows you to learn from them, to be challenged by them, to be encouraged by them. And you go back to your home church, recharged and uh, inspired to, to put into practice the things that we learn here. I've been greatly encouraged by the sermons, the focus, the mission, the goal, the camaraderie, the focus and intentionality of missions and cooperating together. Uh, but this week has been wonderful from top to bottom, and we feel like our cup has been overflowed greatly. It's such an encouragement just being with like-minded people and just hearing the passion for the Great Commission and just yeah, just having that constant interaction with like-minded brothers has been a real encouragement. Praise God. This GA has been an incredible time of fellowship, just intense focus on the Word of God, just meeting brothers, and uh, just what the Lord is doing globally is a, is a very significant statement that is clear in this conference. Of course, Christ is building his kingdom and will build his kingdom. Even the gates of hell cannot stop the building of Christ's kingdom. But what a joy it is to be a part of that. Uh, in our own little corner, perhaps of the Reformed Baptist world, we get to participate by seeing missionaries sent out and, and praying for them and financially assisting them as they go out and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to distant lands. Uh, it's wonderful to be a part of that work. You come to this General Assembly and you hear what the Lord is doing. And honestly, even if you are discouraged in your ministry, you're likely to find that very rejuvenating and refreshing. Because then you realize that even though in my little, little corner, it seems like, you know, nothing is happening, as if God has left, you come here and you realize, no, God is still at work and the banners of Christ are being planted across the, the globe. Even for us missionaries, it's a very stirring time to hear report after report of what God is doing in very different parts of the world, uh, to have our own vision renewed and, and refreshed. For all of those things, it's a very important, important time and a, a blessed time. I think the best way to get to know the Reformed Baptist Network is to be able to come to a GA, and you can figure out what makes us tick. 
What kind of personalities are there? What kind of convictions do these men have? And I do think that relating to each other and rubbing shoulders together really enables you to come away and get a deep sense of who these guys are. There are people who are willing to be humble and they're willing to be transparent. I would say, come on along uh, to a Reformed Baptist Network GA and spy out the land and find out what we're about. Christ is building his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the church is, is growing. Christ is saving people. Churches are being planted all throughout the world.